Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new. My name is Charlotte, I do fashion videos and also vlogs so I hope you're here to stay. There's lots of hauls coming. Um, today I have a Zara and H&M haul for you. Now when it comes to summer, Zara and H&M are two of my favourite shops. Their summer collections are always amazing and really good price as well. I find that H&M do some amazing pieces for such a good price. So today I'm going to show you what I picked up. Um, some of the things are definitely a no, but I will tell you those as I go through. But there's a lot of good bits. So I can't wait to show you. I'm going to start with H&M because I've had these items for so long and I've been dying to show you guys and I can finally do it. So we're starting with H&M and then we'll go into Zara. First things first is this very cute um, linen shirt. It's like a um, stony colour I guess. Um, this is actually from H&M Home. I think it's classed as pyjamas. It's quite long. It's kind of ish almost a dress. Um, when I saw this I was like oh my god I love that I think that's really nice I love the colour I think it would look really nice with my neutral wardrobe I was like mm, mm, mm. yes 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 um, but actually now I have it it doesn't really suit my wardrobe as much as I thought it would it's quite long it's not the right kind of shirt for my style although I love it and I think it's a great piece and I think um, it's great for wearing as pajamas and also as a top um i don't wear a lot of this color i usually wear other items maybe a bag or um i don't know i don't find this works very well for my style um but i think it's adorable and i think it's a lovely shirt um it's just not quite for me and i think it's probably the length because it kind of almost resembles a dress and I don't really wear shirts enough as it is, so I can't really justify keeping it. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm going to actually wear the stuff if I'm going to keep it. So this one's going back. But it's beautiful. I think it's actually sold out. I'll try and link it below if it's still available. Um, but yeah, this one's going to go back. Next we have some swimwear. I don't, I still to this day don't know why I bought swimwear because I'm not going anywhere to need swimwear. But you know when you have this urge to just buy something like you're going on holiday even if you're not going on holiday do you know what i mean anyway i bought a bikini and a swimsuit um so the bikini looks like this this is a little top it's a gorgeous like um blue corally kind of print um it's really really pretty it's got this little flecks of pink in it as well the reason why i bought this bikini is because i really love this like stretchy bit where you could like make it bigger or smaller across the boobs so you could have it covering more or covering less depending on what you want which i really really like um yeah i just thought it was really cute and it's just a really nice top i did buy this in an eight i find that h&m bikini tops and their bras actually come up really, really tight around here. So it's always good to size up and this fits really nicely. I would say I would usually buy a size six. So why is someone banging? Not now. <laughs> I picked up the bottoms. These are like high-waisted bottom with, again, these like ruched tie bits, which you can unruch and ruch however much you want, which I love. These are so flattering. I've never owned a pair of high-waisted bikini bottoms before. So when I put these on, I was like, oh, actually, these are quite nice. Although, I do find at the moment, where I've gained a bit of weight over lockdown, I'm a little bit like, I don't really know what swimwear suits me. Um, and I think it's the same for a lot of people. When you buy something now, if you've gained a bit of weight, it's like, what actually suits me and what actually works? It's beautiful. Um, I just don't know if I like love it enough to keep it, but it is so nice. And um, yeah, when I showed this on my Instagram story, everyone's like, oh my God, you have to keep it. Um, so we'll see. We're gonna think about this one, but it is beautiful. Then I also picked up this swimsuit. Again, I don't know why I picked it up. I was just in the mood. I thought that this would work quite nicely as a bodysuit actually. Um, and it looks like this. It's adorable. Um, it's just a beautiful floral print. Like that is a gorgeous, gorgeous floral print. I think this would look really nice in a bikini actually. Um, I just thought it was really nice swimsuit. Really good, like classic, easy wearing swimsuit if you're going to the beach in the summer. Not a lot of us are going on holiday at the moment. So if you're going to the beach and you're not really super confident about your body, something like this is really, really easy to wear. It shows off a little bit of skin here. So it's a little bit 
sexy but it's not like in your face you've got your whole stomach out if you want to kind of keep it hidden which is nice and it's got like a kind of lowish back um which i mean backs are kind of like all right to show off i guess I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's also got um, adjustable straps, which is great if you're shorter and you want to like, or you want to hoist your boobs up, which sometimes these kind of swimsuits just don't do much for your boobs. So yeah, this one, I just find it doesn't look amazing on me. It doesn't suit my quite petite body as much as I thought it would. Um, it is beautiful though. And I think if you're looking for a nice, pretty swimsuit for a good price, this is definitely one to go for. Next up is a dress, which I don't know if it's still available, um, but it sold out pretty quickly. Um, and I'm actually going to send this one back because I don't like how it looks on me. But I wanted to show you guys in case any of you are interested. Um, so it's like a smock style dress with these like long um, sleeves. The thing is with this, I bought it in a small because it was the only size I had. And it's like one a little bit too big for me two the style doesn't really work because it's quite loose for me i would need it to be like shorter sleeve to make it balance out whereas because i'm so small and everything's quite big it just kind of looks like a sack on me so um yeah it's going back but it is beautiful it's a lovely little dress um and i don't think it was too expensive i think it was about 30 pounds maybe um which I don't think is too bad, but it did sell out. So I will link it below because I do have the link for it if you're interested and you want to just keep refreshing it um, so you don't miss anything. But yeah, it's going home. Going home? It's going back. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> then I picked up these little shorts. Um, these are another piece that keeps selling out because, I mean, I can totally see why. They're just like a pair of like linen style shorts with the drawstring waist again i picked these up in a small because they didn't have a smaller version and actually they're fine um i usually buy an extra small and i would say if you're like you like these shorts i think you could definitely go up a size because they're just loose anyway they just look a little bit baggier and i think they look fine as they actually fit me absolutely fine so just something to note if you are interested in these shorts i will try and link these ones below they do sell some similar ones as well so i will also link those below because these might have been sold out they are a beautiful pair of shorts so i can totally see why i'm on the fence with whether to keep these because i have some zara shorts which i think i like a little bit more so i will show you those when we get to them and we can compare but yeah they're really nice and they were really affordable as well so pretty good pair of shorts if you ask me next up is this gorgeous classic white linen shirt now if you have been following my youtube videos and you're not new you would have seen that i did a linen shirt styling video which i will link above and below for you guys you can go check out if you want to um i find linen shirts are great this time of year but it's sometimes hard to know how to style them because i instantly think of beaches and summer and holidays so i did a little styling video you can go and check it out and shows you how to style a linen shirt um and they're just amazing they are just like such a classic easy piece to wear and um you know you can't really go wrong i will link a similar one because I don't think this one's in stock anymore or whichever one I can find that is in stock from somewhere else um, but it's a really lovely shirt I just think it's really nice um, and I don't know why I didn't own a linen shirt beforehand I have a white classic like white shirt but um, it was nice to have like a thin kind of comfy doesn't matter if it gets creased kind of shirt in my wardrobe so yeah this is why I'm keeping this one and not the kind of uh, nudie sandy colored one because I know that this will fit into my wardrobe a lot easier than the nudie sandy one. But yeah, and then the last thing I have to show you is this hair scarf. H&M do some beautiful hair scarves and I am loving this hair scarf trend. I'm going to do a YouTube video or an IGTV on, the TV on this soon. I cannot speak today. Um, and yeah, this is the scarf. How pretty is this? Gorgeous, gorgeous, like ready pink colours with a bit of purple. Just really nice if you're wearing like white or if you're wearing like these kind of tones, just thought it would be really nice. I actually did style this in my linen shirts video. If you wanna see what it looks like on, but yeah, I've also posted a picture on my Instagram with me wearing this, so yes. Very cute, and I think it was about 
either 12 or 14 pounds which isn't cheap i know but it is a really lovely kind of silky material so i can totally see why it's that price but yeah how cute okay so i'm gonna move on to zara now because i'm so excited to show you these zara pieces um okay first up we have this shirt I have seen so many people in the shirt and I was like, I need that in my life. I need that in my wardrobe. That looks amazing. I can see that working for my style. Um, but now that I've got it, I don't think it is quite for me, but it looks like this. It's a really lovely orange um, palm print kind of pajama style shirt. Um, quite oversized. I bought this in an extra small and it's exactly the amount of oversizedness I would want in a shirt. So, um, yeah, it's really, really lovely. I bought it because I saw the Kitty Lux, Holly, um, style this, um, like, open as, like, a kind of, like, jacket. And I really liked the idea of that. So, I thought I would give it a go. I'm still not sure on it. It's beautiful. The material is dreamy. And I can totally see why people would buy into this. I just feel like it's not fully my style you guys know i'm very neutral i'm very kind of simple with my style i am trying to get out of that a little bit and be a bit more like interesting but i don't know it's just not quite right for me and like it has these big, big slits in the side so you couldn't wear it as like a dress not that i would but you couldn't because you'd flash um I don't know, I'm not sure on it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments because I'm a bit unsure. It is beautiful though. I'm just keep showing you, you would have seen a try on clip so you know exactly what it looks like. But yeah, this one was 30 uh, pounds. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm not sure on that one. It's beautiful though. How many times can I say a shirt is beautiful? I don't know. Next we have this adorable little top. I saw this and I was just like, that is like perfect for summer and it looks like a this um so it's a little broderie anglaise jersey little crop top i'm not usually one for these really really small crop tops but i thought this would look really nice with some high-waisted trousers or high-waisted shorts on a really hot day um it's got like jersey ties so really, really comfortable on your shoulders and you can adjust them to however you want um i think this bit at the front is probably adjustable you probably untie it not that I've tried so if you wanted to adjust it to fit you you probably could it's got elasticated at the back as well so really really comfortable top um this was 9.99 and it even says on the label perfect fit for clot jeans which actually would look really good for the clot jeans um but yeah really really sweet little top actually um and for the price I think it's really lovely so yeah very cute would look dreamy with some denim shorts like in the summer on a really hot day how cute, how cute. Next, another top is this really lovely little t-shirt. This was $7.99. I love a t-shirt, you guys know I love a t-shirt. And I saw this one, I was like, I don't have a t-shirt that color. And I really don't. I don't have anything this kind of DP red color. And I don't know why I really wanted this. I was like, that would look real cute with some denim shorts, with some jeans. I'm always trying to like, break through my like comfort bubble of the clothes that I like. So I love t-shirts. So how can I break through a little bit and make it a bit more interesting? Buy a red t-shirt. Um, I really like it. It's just a really cute little t-shirt. I thought it would just be a really easy piece to style. Like it goes quite nicely with my hair. I'll get my, my necklaces out. I don't know. I just thought it was quite cute, quite vintagey. I like this kind of 90s kind of retro-y-ish style um, and the material is really nice as well so yeah I'll link that below as everything else um, if you're interested but yeah look at me buying a red t-shirt then we have these little shorts as I mentioned earlier I bought some shorts from Zara these are them um, oh, these are stunning shorts um, here they are they're like a satin champagne -y satin material i'm sorry about the lighting by the way guys every time i try to film it's sunny then cloudy sunny then cloudy and i can't ever find a time when it's not so i apologize for that um but anyway these are the shorts they're like a gorgeous gorgeous champagne color and they've even got belt loops which is amazing if you wanted to add a belt to add a bit of zhuzh um they're so pretty and these fit so nicely on me so there's these shorts that i got from zara or these H&M ones and I feel like I can't keep both because as much as they are different do I need two pairs of shorts that have 
the same kind of vibe. Like if I was gonna wear this kind of color short, I would go for one of these. That's where I'm at at the moment, but um, I think I like these ones more. I just think they're more classic. I think they're something that I will wear into winter. They'll be great for like Christmas parties and stuff like that. I think when you're buying stuff, you really have to think about the longevity of where, where and when you can wear them. And these are definitely one of those pieces that you can wear now in the summer, dress it up, dress it down, whatever you want to do. And then when it comes to Christmas and winter, you can wear them out for dinner, for drinks, for a night out. They're great for Christmas. They're just a really lovely pair of shorts. So yeah, I think they're a classic. And this kind of satin material is always like in. So yeah, I love them. How much were they? I don't think they were too expensive either. 19.99. Bargain, if you ask me. And my last piece, oh my gosh, this last piece. I have been on a hunt for a dress like this for so long. And nowhere seems to sell dresses like this. I don't know why, but they don't. Maybe they're just not technically on fashion, on fashion, on trend. <laughs> um, and I saw this and I instantly had to buy it. I was just like, oh my gosh, that is the dream dress. I thought I found the dream dress before, but oh no, 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 I didn't. This is the dream dress. So it's a little strappy kind of um, V-neck, V-neck, is that what you call it? What is that style? It's not sweetheart neckline. I don't know what you call that, but that style. And then it goes down into a gorgeous, like, um, broidery anglaise kind of bottom. This is stunning. It's a very cute, girly dress. It's not like a sexy dress. But even so, the this bit around your boobs is really, really nice. When I put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, this is dreamy. Nowhere seems to sell like these really cute spaghetti strap style dresses like this, like a white one. I had a white one from Topshop, which I've just got rid of because I bought this um, for a few years because it's just it was just a classic little white strappy dress in a really lovely material, not a jersey material. And this is like a really lovely cotton and that's what I wanted. Finally found one and I love it, it's so nice. I will say that this kind of band bit is it can fit a bit snug so you could probably get away with going a size up if you wanted it to fit a little bit looser but um stunning absolutely stunning dress like i'm honestly obsessed like this was what made me do the zara order this dress alone um because it's beautiful and like i love a white summer dress and when i find a nice white summer dress then i just have to buy it so i love it my new little baby. <laughs> so that is everything that I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite item was and let me know if you'd like me to do more Zara H&M hauls. I would love to do them. So let me know if you'd like to see them. As always, the links will be in the description so you can go and check them out if you are wanting to shop any of these pieces. But for now, I will leave you all and I will catch you all in my next video.